so in our last session we have seen that what is angular js and the examples of angular js so in this session we will see what is scope what is data binding what is the expression in angular js so first of all we will see what is scope a scope is an object which has some properties and method properties and method can be described in your javascript file so in this way you can declare your scope how to declare variables in angular js for that you need to write scope so by using a scope you can declare your variable your objects and all over the functions everything so this is all about scope and what does it do it's a linking uh, connectivity so like uh, you could say that uh, it's something which connects your view to javascript so when we do some changes in scope it is easily reflected in your model as well as in your template so this is what scope is so friends uh, in your javascript file you can declare your variables functions like this here you can see that how i am defining the variables and the functions and what are the variables which you can define using scope so there are so many variables you can define like string object and array so these type of variables are defined by using scope okay so this is all about scope so just remember one thing when you are using your scope in your html file then you do not need to write uh, dollar scope okay so basically what do we write we write only the variable part suppose i have written scope dot uh, my where is equal to xyz so if i want to access that uh, variable in my view then what i will write i will write within my curly braces that my where so this is the process of accessing a scope in detail we will see in uh, upcoming session i will give you a demonstration an example where you can easily find out what does it do and what it is used for so let's move to data binding what is data binding in angular js so data binding enables you to access your variable throughout your html file and your script file that is your js file so whenever you do changes in any of them you can easily get the updated value in your html as well as in your model which is written in javascript file so data binding is automatic synchronization process of data between your view and your model so whenever we do changes in view it will be reflected in your model and wherever some changes will be there in your model it will be reflected in your view so in this way we achieve two way data binding so angular js provide two way data binding so how do we achieve this so for this we need to simply access the variable and we need to do some changes in your view or in your model then the updated value will be reflected in both end so this is the reason why do we call it as data binding and two way data binding okay so suppose in my view i have uh, done some changes in some variable like uh, xyz okay i have changed that value through my uh, input dom i have changed that suppose in my text box there i have written uh, xyz mnp okay initially that value was xyz so right now i have updated that to xyz mnp so it will be updated as well as in your model so whenever you will access that xyz variable in your model it will give you the updated value that is xyz mnp so more about this we will see in upcoming example which i will going to elaborate uh, after this session so this is all about uh, the two way data binding in angular js so let's move to expressions what is angular js expression angular js is expression is nothing but uh, some kind of rule which you use to get your values in your views okay so suppose i want to access some variable in my uh, html file then for that i will use uh, angular expressions so how to achieve angular expression there are basically two ways first is uh, by using curly braces second is by using your ng bind directive 
which is a inbuilt directive of angular js so how to use the first scenario the first scenario is the uh, curly braces so for curly braces you need to do only write your curly braces and within that curly braces you write your variable name suppose in my uh, html file i have a div tag and under div tag i want to display some variable which i have initialized in my javascript file so what i will write say suppose in my javascript file i have written uh, scope.xyz is equal to delhi so in my view i want to show that uh, delhi value to the user so for that what i will write for that i will write under curly braces only xyz the value the value which contains the value delhi so angular js expression contains literals operators and variables so in expression you can use literal variables and operators using this angular js computes the whatever the expression written inside the curly braces and gives the final output to us so in that curly braces we can write uh, integer float string or object so that can be easily be displayed to user so in this way we can use the expressions and what is the another approach the another approach is ng bind so through ng bind we do not need to write the curly braces just we need to use ng bind suppose in my span tag i have written span ng bind is equal to that variable name without scope remember that we need to write only the part without scope so whenever we need to display that variable we will write that inside that ng bind and it will be displayed to our user so friend uh, in this manner we can see that uh, what is the scope what is two way data binding and what is expression so here i am going to uh, describe uh, a bit more about this through an example which you will see later on thank you so friends we have seen that what is a scope what is data binding what is expressions in angular js and next we will see how to use scope data binding expression in our example